Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meat Shield, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where I have been busy off camera. I tidied up all of the black powder production, so we're fully utilizing the sulfur mine. That's going to be running 100% of the time constantly. We're, we're bringing in twice as much coal as we need to, so it's, I could underclock the miner on that, but I couldn't be bothered. So what we'll likely do is we'll just overclock the sulfur machine, um, later on, because uh, I do have some power shards. I managed to find some slugs when I was running around. Um, and yeah, we'll just overclock it and double up the amount of assemblers, or maybe even overclock them. We, that could always be an option. Saves us expanding the, th the whole bloody thing. But we are going to need a lot of slugs for that. So, I don't know. We'll see how things go. But I've been smoothing stuff out over here getting ready for setting up the Guterium processing. I figured out how much this one miner, as it currently sits, is going to support. We're going to get four smelters, four constructors, and we're going to be producing 240 quick wire a minute, which is not too bad. If we overclock this, obviously we can boost that. Uh, but I want to run back to the hub, because the Nobelisk analysis in the MAM should be done by now. And I also found a hard drive. Uh, so I want to go and chuck that into the MAM along with the crystal oscillators. So we're going to be doing a lot of research today. So, should be good. Should find out some interesting things. Okay, what have we learned? You have shown adequate restraint concerning explosives. Oh, have I? You have the danger levels of this planet against your chance of survival. Conclusion, a new milestone is now accessible in Tier 5. That's nice and vague, isn't it, Ada? I wonder what we might have got a new milestone for. It's the rifle. Ooh. We do need some more Nobelisks. I did make quite a few. I made a full over a stack of them. So we should be able to fulfill this. Mm. I might go and grab the stuff I need for that. Right, what am I missing here? Okay, Nobelisks in. I need 500 cable, 3,000 wire, and then 50 modular frames. That's going to be easy. Ooh, I say it would be easy, but we seem to have run out of modular frames. That heavy modular frame production has just been consuming like there's no tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to let this back up a bit then. You are... I forgot I switched all these on a standby because I was trying to thieve screws for making computers. <sighs> That's been off for a while. I'm a genius. I'm an absolute genius. Ugh. I gotta hope that I got some regular modular frames lying around somewhere. I have three. That's not much. Okay, all we're missing for that now is the modular frames, so we'll just kind of let that do its thing for a little while. I need to chuck something else into the MAM. Mam, mam, mam. Uh, so, what's it going to be? Is it going to be hard drive or the oscillators? It's going to be the oscillators, because I do have enough. So, we'll leave that. That should be done... Well, that'll definitely be done before the episode ends. We might be able to get the hard drive researched at the same, or in the same space of time. But yes, let's head back over to the coal power station. We'll go and set up this Katerium processing. Because I'd like to start producing a lot of quick wire. Uh, if anything, when it comes down to doing the big rebuild, it means we can work with the Mark II power poles, which would be awesome. Uh, but there's also more Katerium... I need to chuck quick wire into the MAM as well, so we've we've got more research that we need to do. There's there's always more stuff, isn't there? But it's good. I mean, I like having stuff to do in this game. It's great fun. So this Katarian miner is actually going to be able to support more than we're putting down over here. Uh, it can support 5.3 recurring uh, smelters, but. I thought, as soon as we can't get like a nice round even number out of that, I'm going to just round it down to four. Um, so it should make things nice and easy, and we can just kind of work with those numbers from there. It's, it's not 
a massive issue because we're not really going to need Katerium for a huge amount of stuff, I don't think. At least not at this point in the game. We'll, we may need more later, but we'll, we'll wing it as we go and we can always expand things as and when we need. I think this marks one of those rare occasions where I just about had everything I needed. I haven't had to do too much running around to find other materials. I had to go over there to get some concrete, but that was about it. Oh, I'm almost prepared for this shit today. It's incredible. Okay, I think that's everything set up. Let's get some power connected. Where am I going to bring the power over from? May as well drag a line all the way over this way. And connect it up to the line that's coming out of the front of the uh, coal power station. That seems to work for me. That'll do it. Connect it right there. And... Boom! So everything should have power. Let's go and check the uh, miner. The miner looks to be working. These two smelters don't have their recipes. That's helpful. Do you? No, you don't either. It was just that one. But there we go. We got the Katerium being processed into ingots. Oh, look at it, all shiny. Mm. Do love me some shinies. So 60 a minute of that should perfectly feed the processing that we've got going on up here. I didn't feel the need to overly excessively go with boosting the belt speeds. Didn't really need it. Um, oh, you're not actually connected to any power as well. That really would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> there we go. Now you're fired up. I was thinking that doesn't look like enough. It doesn't look like 60 a minute. Either way, it's starting to show up here now. She's good. That's looking a bit more like a full belt. Yes, good. Now we just wait for some quick wire. And there it goes. <laughs> On these belts, it's moving very quickly. Right, well, I've already got 100 quick wire, so that's fantastic. That's what I need to chuck into the man. So I'm just going to let that system do its thing, build up a nice supply. Let's go and check the man, see if uh, any of this research is finished yet. I don't think it has. Uh, we'll also go and check the modular frame uh, production, because I'm hoping that the uh, they've caught up. I'll go and check that first, actually. We'll let the man do its thing for a bit longer. Yeah, there's a full stack of 50. Excellent. I'll reconnect this belt now. And that can start uh, running back through to the heavy modular frame production, uh, which is going rather well. I will say that, yeah, not, no complaints there. Okay. Rifle payload ready to launch. Boop! Rifles can now be crafted at the workbench. They require cartridges to function. I am now obligated to inform you of fix-it rifle policies. Okay. Note, aim the barrel away from your body. It is the part with the hole in it. <laughs> Note, assume all alien life is hostile. Yeah. Note, R&D's Ballistics Lab has a recommended music playlist on Fixit servers. Ooh. I wonder what's on that playlist. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Rifle. I need three heavy modular frames, 20 circuit boards, 25 steel pipes, and I can make this. I should have at least some of that lying around here. I know I had some circuit boards somewhere. Where did I leave them? Oh, I need some circuit boards. Uh, means I've got to run all the way over to uh, all one. You know, I'm going to try something out. Teleportation smoke screen, go! Oh god, why did it drop me out here? Oh! Shit. Okay, well, never mind any of that. We're all, 
I need to see some circuits, don't I? Uh, which belt line are they coming in? They're coming on that one. This is the setup that I made for making the computers. So I'm, I'm going to check to see how many we've made as well, but I want to get the circuit boards that I need. I've got 20 now, so that's enough. And that's a nice number of computers. I think I'm going to take all of those back with me. Uh, you can go back on and... Right, okay. Um, let's see if we can get this right this time. Um, explosive teleportation thing, go! Well, this isn't where I wanted to be at all. I swear this thing's broken. Well... We got a new gun. Oh. I do like the design on this thing. The frame looks awesome. And then reload time. Chunk. Chunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's an awesome looking little uh, little rifle. You get 10 shots per, uh, per cartridge, per magazine. Uh, it packs a little bit of wallop. It's not like excessively overpowered. It's a little bit better than the uh, the rebar gun though, so I think I will be carrying this as my kind of standard sidearm. I'm probably gonna dump the rebar gun into here. As much as I like the thing, having just a single shot is a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, but now let's see what the MAM has to tell us. Crystal oscillator analysis is complete. These particular quartz-based crystal oscillators are optimal for limited radar technology. Mm. R&D has provided a new milestone in Tier 5 with a derived building. That's wicked. So, yeah, we ain't got much left to research. Let's chuck in the quick wire. Or... Ooh. No, we'll do the hard drive first, because that'll probably get done before I wrap up the episode. Just before. And then we'll research the quick wire between episodes while I'm inevitably going off and faffing about doing something. Right. You get busy. Um, why are the oscillators still in there? Like, it really does just look like some weird sort of radio thing, doesn't it? A giant CD tray. <laughs> But let's see what we've got in that milestone then. Radar technology. That lets us build the radar tower. Um, but we don't have crystal oscillator production going because we haven't actually got started on any quartz mining. So we'll have to sort that out sometime soon. But I think... Ooh, yeah. I think we're going to get some, get some more tier 6 milestones done. Give me some motors and heavy modular frames, please. At least as many as I can carry, because my bags are very full. Yeah, I don't have enough computers for doing the next space elevator phase, so we're just going to focus on getting these bits done. So we're going to start with the jetpack, because that will give us more inventory space. Because that would just be fucking fantastic roundabout now. R&D inflated your pocket dimension and has provided a jetpack which operates on oil-based fuel for increased navigational capabilities as well as odds of survival. Well, it will certainly help whenever I have one of those cock-ups with the uh, smoke bomb teleporter. So, yeah, I'd appreciate that. I need a load of plastic, some rubber, and more circuit boards to make that. But that's not going to be difficult. Need another trip back to oil one for that. Gas mask I can definitely do next. Seventy five hundred and one and uh, seventy five one hundred and fifty. Also got a uh, slug that I needed to turn into a power shard. So that was nice. <laughs> nice for the slug, I suppose. Should also clear up this mess. Let's do some tidying up. Now, considering the overclock potential on these machines, and expand the f like future expansion of all of the iron production, because each of these Miner Mark IIs, Miner Mark IIs, can be overclocked to produce or to, to provide 300 iron ore per minute each. 
Oh no, combined, sorry. Yeah, 300 each. I was going to say 900 each? That's just excessive. So we could really go about expanding the iron production. Especially for, you know, the production of heavy modular frames, because they just need iron products. And with the fact that we've now got the alternate recipe for producing screws, we can cut out the, uh, you know, some of the constructors and make this a much more streamlined build. But also with the... I th did we... I could have sworn there was a alternate recipe for the heavy modular frames that I got. Or for the regular modular frames, which I can't check because I don't have any regular modular frames on me to be able to check it with. Um, let's see. I could try and pinch them out of there, but... Might not be a wise idea. I've got three in here. That'll do. Yeah, alternate modular frames. So they require six reinforced iron plate and steel pipes instead of iron rods. So we could have no iron rod production whatsoever for this build. We just need steel pipes instead of the rods. And we'd get three... Well, we'd get six modular frames per minute compared to the four that we get from this one. Hmm. That could be worth... Uh, that could be worth playing around with. I'm interested to see what other rec alternate recipes I'm going to end up uh, unlocking. Speaking of which, let's go and check the hard drive, see if that's ready yet. I have a feeling it probably isn't. No. Three minutes left. I mean, it's not long, but I mean, I, I don't know how to wrap this episode up. Uh, I've still got like ten minutes. I'm just kind of pootling her along, just trying to find something to do. It's not worth starting anything at the moment. Research is done. Right, what have we got? Uh, Caterium circuit boards. Encase industrial beams using steel pipes instead of steel beams. A Nobelisk using crystal oscillators instead of... Instead of beacons. That's an interesting one. Um, I might go for the encase industrial beam one. Because that could really cut out a lot of the unnecessary production over in um, the steel outpost. Ooh. Yeah, we'll have that one. Uh, and then we'll chuck it. Um, quick wire? What happened to my quick wire? Did I need that for making something? Where did all my quick wire go? What did I use that for? I was going to chuck that into the mam, and I can't chuck it into the mam because it's gone. I'm very confused. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, um, I'll go and grab that off camera, chuck it into the mam, and we'll um, see what that results in when we come around to the next episode. Uh, I'm quite happy with where things are going. I, I think that, you know, while things are still very much a massive mess, you know, we're, we're getting various bits of tech all produced. We're unlocking new toys to play with. It's good, going to be good fun going forward from here. I think with the rifle and explosives, we, we, we've got a little bit less to worry about when we're out in the wilds, I hope. If we couple that with a jetpack, oh, it's going to be fantastic. But I'm going to leave things off here and figure out what I want to do going forward. Um, I still don't think I'm quite ready to start rebuilding everything around rails, but I may start looking into setting up some dedicated outposts for different productions, and we could maybe try and start building them around train stations so that we can figure out how like the scale that things are going to be. But other than that, I think I'm going to just wrap things up here and say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays or Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. 
But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. I don't know. I feel like they'd be good company for that. Whereas the others are just like, ah, all the fucking time.